I am taking an excerpt from Horizons Beyond the Mind. Forgetfulness, the beginning of remembrance. Forgetfulness, the beginning of remembrance. It seems strange, but in reality it is so. Forgetfulness is beautiful. Forgetfulness means that you are forgetting the past, what has happened, but we try to remember that. Look at the trees. They are continuously living in nowness. When autumn comes, old leaves fall, they turn gold, they fall from the tree and make room for the new. There is a continuous process of forgetting the past and reliving the moment. But man does not do this. Therefore it is said, forgetfulness is beautiful. It is the essence of male-female relation. Normally in male-female relation, we do not forget the moments of pain. A feminine mind can never forget anything done wrong by the male mind. No matter how much transformation or change has happened in the male mind, by doing so, by using the word feminine mind and male mind, I refer to the intrinsic quality of the man. Every individual, whether it is male or female, has two aspects of the mind, feminine and masculine, the left and the right side of the brain. One side is feminine, the other is masculine. This can happen both in female as well as in male. A female can forget her father for all the atrocities that he has been doing, drinking, having women, but she cannot forget the same thing in her husband. Because husband and wife are self-chosen relationships, they are not born. The parents, the brothers, sisters form the part of a static relationship. You do not choose them, you do not earn them. Simply when you are born, you come to know that this is your father, this is your mother, your brother, your sister. When it comes to self-chosen relationship which is dynamic in nature, it relates to the choices that you make choice of a husband, choice of a girlfriend, choice of a wife, choice of a friend. And whenever problems arise, we immediately abandon those relationships and feel that we can gather momentum. It cannot happen. But this is the nature of the feminine mind. It can never forget. If your boyfriend or girlfriend has cheated you once, no matter how much apology he sends, you can never forgive him or her. Remember therefore, forgetfulness is the essence of male-female relationship. Forgetfulness is the way to move forward. But this does not happen. Husbands and wives, more so wives cannot and do not want to forget and then they go on washing dirty linens in the public about their husbands and wives. Whether the situation has called for it or not, the feminine mind does not want to lose any opportunity to speak the atrocities of her male companion. Remember, actions are like dry leaves that are no more needed on the tree of consciousness. Just as when the leaves are old, the tree does not want them. They turn gold 
and during autumn they fall in preparation for the next season of winter when there is a snow and the tree has to protect itself. Thereafter when the season of spring comes, new foliage begins, new leaves. If you can forget, you will be able to remember more and that too remember all that is essential. Normally we remember all that is non-essential, that is useless, that is redundant, that is not needed along the journey, the inward journey. Remember forgetfulness is benediction. Forgetfulness is perfectly good and okay. Forgetfulness is a great capacity. It simply means getting the past dusted off. It simply means getting the past dusted off. There is no need to remember. Everything has happened because almost 99% of it is trivia, a simple things. What do you go on remembering? Just think. And what do you go on remembering? Write it down and just look at it afterwards. Isn't it trivia? What goes on in your mind? You will not be able to show it to your intimate friend because he will think you are mad. But this goes on in your mind. It is good. Forget. Forgetfulness is a great capacity because it will allow you to remember all that is essential. Forgetfulness is part of remembrance. It is catharsis. The useless has to be forgotten so that all that is beautiful and useful is remembered and the memory of your brain computer is not reduced. The useful is very small, insignificant and useless is too much and you go on giving importance to all that is useless. In 24 hours, millions of bits of information are collected by the human mind. If you collect and remember them all, you will be mad. I have heard about a man. He was once presented to the governor in India because he was a man of rare memory. He knew only one language, Hindi, as it is spoken in the northwest colorful province of India called Rajasthan. He was a poor man, uneducated, but if you tell him anything in any language, he would never forget it, but he would repeat it like a parrot, not knowing what it meant. To the governor place, he was called and the governor was surprised to hear about his capacity. Thirty other persons were called, thirty different languages. They uttered a few sentences. It was arranged in the following manner. The man would go to the first person and the first person would say the first word of his sentence then he would go to another person and he would say the first word of his sentence in another language. Then he will go to the third. In this way he would go to 30 people. Then he would come back to the first who would now say his second word. It was repeated. Many rounds, many hours it took. And then he repeated all the sentences separately. The governor was simply puzzled, amazed. He could not believe, but this man went mad. This is the example of tremendous memory. We cherish things like these, but what is the ultimate of all these? People like these go mad. 
This much memory is dangerous. This type of person is almost always idiotic. Too much memory is not good. It simply says that you have a very mechanical mind. Mechanical mind is not a sign of intelligence, remember always. You cannot consider your computer as intelligent. You cannot consider your CD as intelligent mind. These are all mechanical minds and mechanical mind is not a sign of intelligence. Hence you hear so many stories of absent-mindedness about great scientists and philosophers etc. I knew a man, he was a philosopher, he was the head of department of philosophy in the college where I was studying. He used to walk from his house to the college. Once it happened, he was passing on the road and he saw a door open. A few people were sitting. He stepped in the room and he began his lecture. After his lecture was over, the man, the host, stood up and appreciated. That was the house of the, the city magistrate. He said, it is my privilege that you are here in my house, in my room, amidst all these people. But I am sorry to say it is not your classroom, instead it is the house of the city magistrate. He used to come to the class, always walking with a stick. As he will enter the class, he will put his stick in the corner and then sit down on the chair to begin his lecture. Very often it was observed that he would put his stick, walking his stick on the chair and himself stand up in the corner to begin the lecture. Then someone would have to remind him and then he will correct the situation. This is the sign of too much memory and absent-mindedness. Hence you hear so many stories of absent-mindedness about great scientists and philosophers etc. They are people of great memory. But intelligence has nothing to do with great memory. Memory is mechanical. Intelligence is non-mechanical. It is the intrinsic quality of the being. And both are totally different. So do not be worried at all with memory. It is good. But cherish your forgetfulness. Remember, forgetfulness means memory is relaxing. Many things, all that is unwanted will disappear and space will be created in you for all that is essential. And in that space, you will be able to store all that is essential. You will become more brilliant intelligent and understanding. The brilliance, the intelligence, the understanding, all this required tremendous working space within your brain. If there is enough space, the brilliance flourishes, intelligence prospers, understanding dawns, and these things, brilliance, intelligence and understanding are the essential elements of inward journey. Without these, you cannot enter into your inward journey. Intelligence means understanding. Number of times we use a word that I am stressed out. What is stress? Stress indeed is considered to be a hackneyed word used unconsciously by the modern mind. But stress is improper use of your intelligence. 
stress means that you are incapable of using your intelligence and you feel proud using the word I am stressed out. Next time when you are using this word be careful in front of whom you are using this word. If you are using this word stress in front of an intelligent person he may not say but he will know that you are incapable of using your intelligence and you are stupid. Only stupid people get stressed. Intelligence and stress has no correlation. Intelligence means understanding and memory means a mechanical quality of repetition, apparent repetition. Your CD can repeat the things verbatim better than a human intelligence. Parrots have good memory. Therefore, never be worried about your memory. In the beginning it happens. You have accumulated so much rubbish and when you meditate, that rubbish starts first appearing on the surface but slowly and slowly it starts disappearing and falling away. You get immediately worried and you feel that you are forgetting. But it is the process of meditation and you feel that you are forgetting. Forget all the rubbish that you have accumulated within and then a new intelligence will be born in you. That is why Osho has given a dynamic meditation in which the first part is chaotic breathing. It activates your unconsciousness and then the second part is the catharsis where you throw out all that has been accumulated deep within you through actions, gestures, and use of any kind of words that are formed within. You remember when you are angry and you are speaking out of anger, the words do not form clearly. Instead, the words are pronounced like a noise. You begin to stammer. You cannot speak correctly. And if you try to act any time as if you are enacting an anger and record it, you will find it is all just sheer nonsense. You will stammer many a times when you are trying to utter a particular word. This is part of catharsis. It is very important. And forgetfulness is the part of catharsis. Forget all the rubbish that you have accumulated within and then a new intelligence will be born in you. Be blessed like a tree that drops all leaves during autumn and then forget, forgets all about those leaves. Tree is far more intelligent than you. But the tree is an unconscious state. You are conscious. You have the capacity of being conscious. But man continues to live in his past, in the state of subconscious or unconscious. Knowingly, he is living in a state below humanness. Knowingly, he is living in a state below his capacity. Learn to live in your capacity. The tree is far more intelligent than human mind. It never stores. When the flowers come, they remain as long as they are necessary, as long as their life is necessary. The tree never laments when the flowers blossom, disappear, it is almost unconcerned whatsoever is happening on its branches. The flowers come, 
Others rejoice. The tree feels elated, but it never accumulates. In the process, the flowers will give way to fruits, and fruits will give way to seeds, and the process will continue. When autumn approaches, the leaves turn gold and fall, and when they fall, they provide the nourishment to the tree. But man wants to store all those moments, all those thoughts which are unwanted. The moment old unwanted leaves drop, as a process of growth, new leaves appear on the tree. This is benediction. This is intelligence. Learn from the trees. Forgetfulness is benediction. Forget all those moments of pain, pleasure, and allow the new moments to be cherished. Life will attain a new meaning, new benediction, new joy will spurt from deep within. Only this much for this morning.